Alrighty guys, let's set the scene here really quick. You just got done streaming on Twitch or YouTube. And you decide, you know, I want to go edit that VOD that I just had from the stream that was four and a half hours long and I want to get some clips from that. How do I do that really quick in Premiere Pro? Let's tackle that today really quick in under five minutes. On top of that, we're going to give you Touch Portal and Premiere Pro presets to get you guys started really fast and hotkey the whole thing so it can be done super fast too. Without that being said, let's get into today's video. Good morning, afternoon, or good night, everybody. Welcome to today's video. I'm Corey J, and welcome to Tech Tutorial Tuesday. So, in today's video, we're going to be tackling the rigorous task of pulling down your Twitch VODs and editing them super fast into a nice, concise highlight reel or whatever you need to do to upload those things over to YouTube. Let's get into it today. This is super quick and easy. So, right off the bat, if you don't know how to pull down your VOD, you're going to go over to your stream manager that you use to edit your stream info and all that fun stuff. Go down to content, it's underneath this drop down, and then, uh, video producer here then you're going to go to the triple dots on the opposite side of the vod you're looking to download and then you just click download you wait a couple of minutes and it'll compile then download a video that looks something similar to this so you're going to have a little vod like this <clears throat> and so after you see this little video here you're going to be like all right so i've got four and a half hours of stream how do i quickly drop this thing into my editor and cut out all the dead air really fast. Well, Premiere Pro cannot naturally do this, so I use this little piece of software called TimeBolt. I've talked about it a couple of times in a few other videos, and it's super clean, super simple. You're gonna drag your VOD into the software, just like I did here, but as you scrub through it, you'll notice there's all of these green and red lines through here. All the red is all the dead air it's cut out, so it's basically dropped this 30 minute VOD down to, I think it was about six minutes or something like that. So after you've cut all your dead air out, you can copy my settings here for uh, this time bolt. The link's down in the description below. It's a free uh, trial for it. You guys can try out if that's something you're interested in. At the end of it, you can either render it out in here and call it done good and you're great. You can add your own background music and whatnot to it, but this isn't, this isn't the tutorial. This isn't the fun stuff you're here for. Click the XML button and it's going to export a little button like this. And that file is going to look like this right here. It's gonna have the same exact name as the video you just exported and then you're gonna drag that over into your project over on Premiere Pro. And that's gonna give you both a couple of breakdowns of the, all the video stretched out without cuts. And then it's gonna give you a nested clip of all of the cut clips. So all the dead air, it's just basically scrunches it together. So it's a super cut basically of all of you talking. What we're talking about today though, is how do we edit a VOD like this into a very quick and easy to consume video. So alt left click duplicates the video track or whatever audio track that you're trying to duplicate there. And then as always, I like to have my video game screen on the bottom and webcam on the top. So if you don't know how to install presets, you're going to right click on uh, in your effects panel on the presets button, go to import, and you're just going to import the number three OBS Studios Twitch VODs presets. If you want the other ones, you can access those in this video playlist up here up, up top for you. Either double tap it or single tap and press open and then go into folder that it pops up here for number three OBS Studios Twitch VODs presets. It'll give you two different folders here, presets for the camera and presets for the game screen. Now, what I've done here is I, I recognize that everybody's webcam is probably gonna be different on Twitch. So this isn't gonna function for everybody. Uh, what we're gonna do since we have a left webcam here, this is, you're gonna go drag your camera bottom left webcam crop preset, and you're just gonna drop that on top there. And you're gonna see right off the bat, webcams cropped out, beautiful. So you can then move that top layer wherever the heck you want. Now, bottom layers, I like to keep those as the game layers. So for those, you're gonna come down to the preset Set VOD game screens and then I like to add a Gaussian blur uh, background to that one so it's gonna look kind of like this you're gonna blur everything out and it's gonna zoom in to just the game screen because you see I've got that little bar down here where I've got all my assets for the stream on there and we want to get rid of those for the YouTube video and then on the second line right here we're going to add the rock preset for the ultra wide and that's gonna crop out my bottom layer here and then we're going to add the motion preset VOD move to center and it's gonna just 
just perfectly center it right there. How about that? All done. Now, if you're not running an ultra wide, I do also have a 1080p preset that you can basically drag onto here. This is going to look weird with that, but it's going to slightly zoom in and do the same thing. And you just prop around where your preset is for that, if that's what you want to do. But you can then drag your web camera to the top left or wherever the heck you want to put it as you're editing your video here. But other than that, that's how you do it. If this video gave you guys any sort of value, please make sure you guys subscribe. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers. I'm really wanting to make this work. And so if I'm giving you guys any sort of value, please subscribe, please like the video, go join the Discord community and, and uh, give us your guys' feedback in there. So stay healthy, my friends. Check out this video over here where we teach you guys how to edit your videos with an Elgato Cam Link Pro in OBS Studios and game capture using the Elgato Cam Link Pro as well uh, with three cameras at full resolution. Phenomenal video. Go check it out over here. Also, go check out the playlist that we created for you guys. Stay healthy, my friends, and we'll see you in the next video.